Okay, I'm just uh, showing you real quick here how to take uh, audio off of your internal sound card, like if you're watching a movie on your computer or YouTube, something like that, or even an MP3 that you'd like to get some um, audio that you'd like to use in a presentation for teaching or for um, conference or something like that, a workshop. Anyways, I'm uh, starting off here at the um, uh, Jane Camtasia Screencast website. Uh, they've got a good explanation here of how to install it once you get it installed. But I'll show you a quick uh, way to get it the link. Um, it's the Soundflower link, so I'll just pause the video and then bring that um, uh, web page up. Okay, so here's the web page. Um, you just email me uh, for the link here. Um, it's also up here in the URL uh, address. You can see that. Um, just click it, download it, it'll start to download. See, I've downloaded it a few times from making the presentation, but it'll uh, mount to your computer, and then all you do is you just run through the um, installation here. Just click the Soundflower uh, button here, and it'll start to open up. Um, I've already got it installed, so I won't take the time to do that right now. But just follow the instructions. Um, if you run into any problem, just go back to that Jing site. Um, but once you've installed it, then you want to make sure to restart your computer. Then come into your system preferences, okay? Uh, get in your system preferences, hit your sound uh, in stuff here, uh, the input and the output, and then you'll select either Soundflower Channel 2, okay, on the input. Uh, there's also a Soundflower Channel 16, but I just always use the 2. Um, and then the out bu output button also has to be clicked, and you have to make sure you click click on the same channel okay for um, the recording even though you're just getting input they both have to be selected alright and you can't switch off and then try to use your headset to do input over um, the movie or after the movie or something like that you have to just stop it and that's it so you don't have that option that's only one of the bad things about that but um, overall you can get some pretty good clips for movies and um, either YouTubes or websites things like that that you like to use some audio and mp3s as well so have fun doing that